off Alaska's southern coast on Kodiak Island. Winter is late, and the longer the warm ocean currents keep the snows at bay, Come on, honey. the bigger the lucky break for outfitter and island veteran Mike Horstman, who lost a kill to a predator last week. There's been a bear in here and got my deer, carried it off. He's still short on his quota of protein for the season, so he's taking advantage of the weather and heading out on another hunt. I still need to find one more deer so that I'll have enough meat to make it through the winter. But if winter hasn't come yet to Kodiak, then neither has hibernation. <laughs> We've got a bear right here, about 60 yards. The island's bears aren't just a danger, they're also competition. There's no idea we're here. Looking to pack on the pounds before their long winter sleep, the bears are on the prowl for anything and everything edible. He's coming down through this beaver slough looking for a fish. But what he don't understand is there's not very many fish in there. Kodiak bears depend on the annual salmon run for the bulk of their hibernation weight. I haven't seen him catch a fish yet. But I'm just gonna move on out of here. Good luck to him. Mike has 30 years of experience living among Kodiak bears. He knows how to assess a threat. For now, it's safe to move on, but he'll stay on high alert while he hunts. With this many bears around, there's a chance that we're gonna have a problem. So I'm definitely paying attention to what's going on here. The risks of another encounter are high, but without enough meat in his freezer, Mike's not backing down. Get with me. It's okay, it's okay. Relax, there's a bug right there. He's in the bottom, he's broadside. I'm gonna take him. I hit him. He shouldn't have gone far at all. Come on. I'm not gonna waste any time cutting it up because we ran into a bear a little earlier and I'm sure he's still right in this area and he would love to have the opportunity to take this one away from me. It can take more than an hour to break down a deer this size. The more meat we have exposed to the air, the more chance we have of a, a bear smelling it. So I need to get this done quick. These quarters are cooled off now, and I'll uh, get them in my pack. I'm gonna head out, go back to camp. Walking downwind on this trail, going back to camp, the advantage is for the bear here because with the wind at my back, if there's a bear in front of me, he's gonna smell me before I get there. So Adele and I are really paying attention. <sighs> there's a bear right there. He's coming down the trail exactly where I'm going. He's gonna come right through here. At some point, he's going to get my wind right here. We got to get out of here. I think the bear left. It's not clear where the bear's gone, but Mike's not waiting around to find out. Come on. He's on the final stretch home. Been a long pack, long day, but 
In this case, I'm pretty lucky because I've got deer on my back and I'm almost home. And it's sure good to be done. Now that I got enough meat for the winter, I'm gonna go make some dinner and call the day a success. <laughs>